So the first thing I want to explain is that right here, if we just hold left, hit the spring, and then hold nothing, what we want is not going to work, okay? Instead, we hold left, full jump, and then right as we are about to get touch the wall, let go of any inputs, and then we're not going to be uh, continue holding any inputs until after we have bounced off of this spring right here. Okay, so we have no inputs. We've hit this, Sonic goes up. We then want to aim to land on the right half of the middle of this spring. As you'll see, that bounce will clear us over these two crab enemies that are down here that would otherwise kill us. We then land. We let Sonic get about halfway through this slanted, uh, this slant in the ground. And then we full jump, which will then land us on top of this platform. We're then going to continue to hold right. Once Sonic is about halfway through, you'll see he, get his, he gets his third ring. I then do a mid jump that will kill both of those enemies. And then through this section, what our goal is, is to land where these rings are, right? We want to be able to land right here in the middle while still maintaining our forward momentum so that once we land, we continue holding right, we'll land in the middle here. We do a full jump. We're over the spinny boys of death. Then with these crab dudes, let's do a medium-sized jump to get over them. Okay, once Sonic is basically at the uh, peak of the spring, I want to start holding right. And then when Sonic covers up this second light, do a small tap jump. We are then going to want to land and then full jump. And where we're trying to end up on is the front, like this guy's eyeball, right? It's homie in the middle, right? You'll see Sonic gets a little bounce. And we're going to land just before this platform ends, right? You'll see once we land, we hold right for just an another few frames. We do a full jump. I then like to hold right until Sonic has came... Uh, just to where this downward slope is. We then start holding down to roll. And now this is how I do this next part. You'll see these lights in our background. Once Sonic has transitioned under the third light, we are then going to full jump. So there's our second one. There's our third one. Once Sonic is about halfway through this third light, we're going to do a full jump. And that will land us on here. This is like the only example in the game where you ever want to use speed cat. You'll see if we don't hit anything, Look at Sonic's speed value over here on our left, okay? If we don't hit anything, our speed cap is still crazy. Our speed's still crazy high. You know what I'm saying? It's not what we want. So when we land, see we tap right. That brings us to 1356, which makes full jumping and adjusting onto this platform so much more easier. And so we've hit right. Sonic is now at speed cap. So when we land on this platform, we get halfway through. Sonic collects this third ring. We then want to do tap jump. Hold right, and as soon as Sonic gets on the slope roll, that will build us up enough speed to clear this upcoming gap. Right before, so, so like you'll see these things in the background, you could use this as a visual cue. I personally don't. It's basically, when Sonic's halfway in between this signpost and this green spring, we're going to do a full jump. That will give us enough speed to get over this gap. We then full jump again. Sonic will hit, hit the ceiling, and then upon landing is when we want to begin holding right. Before we get to this uh, slants and stuff here, we then do another full jump with Sonic. Sonic will then land and we continue on, right? We hold right. Once Sonic gets to this slope, we are going to hold down, which will cause us to roll and maintain our forward momentum. And then I, be, I like to begin to start holding right, right before hitting this platform, and you'll see why. So Sonic will stop his rolling animation. He will then press up against this platform, right? Once that's happened, I do a jump that gives us just enough height to clear this platform and not land on it, okay? So it's going to be slightly more than a tap jump, but it's v it's very precise, you guys. I let go of jump like just as soon as Sonic clears the box, and that gives you, you will land right here on this little platform. We'll run under this spiky boy. Sonic will land on this flat platform right here. We then do a full jump. We then land. Continue holding right. And then here the goal is to slow Sonic down, but not lose all your momentum before falling in this. And the reason why is we want enough momentum to actually hit this uh, spring that's right here, right? So like, like I said, let Sonic transition under this part of the background before tapping left, actually. Because that'll give us every time we'll have the right amount of speed. And like you'll see that when you tap left, you want to tap it like once or twice more. 
just so that when we bounce, we roll down here onto th uh, this, like in, in, into these rings, instead of going back through this open gap, okay? So once Sonic is in this part, I start holding down. So Sonic will roll through this section, right? So right before Sonic flattens out, this is, we have two frames, this will work. We full jump there, which is basically, so as Sonic, Sonic, you'll see we've collected a couple rings on our way before this jump. As soon as Sonic collects the, the third to last ring, we're going to do a full jump. Sonic will then bounce off this ceiling right here. We then hold down. He'll maintain his momentum the whole way through. And we end the stage with a 31. Pretty finicky? Okay. That's good to know, though. Like, if you can find a consistent timing for it.